Birds of Prey. So, I actually really like this movie. A lot of people did Margaret Robbie. Excellent. She's insane. Very good actress. I mean, just crazy. I mean, you got a very talented cast. Ewan McGregor is the bad guy. Who would have thought? Crazy, right? Blumhouse's Truth or Dare. Cringy horror movie, but still entertaining. It's pretty entertaining, really. Truly. Interesting. It's an interesting investment of two hours. We'll put it that way. Okay. I had to put down the remote. Cars 2. Wow, were people mixed about this movie. I loved it. As a kid, I liked... I was nine when it came out. I liked mixing in the action, the whatever. In these kids' movies, it's good. It's a good thing. You got Owen Wilson, Larry the Cable Guy, Michael Caine as sort of the uh, British spy. Excellent. It's great. It really is. Uh... The critics, whatever, didn't like it. Some of the parents didn't. This is our movie. Like, when we were kids, this was one of my movies growing up as a kid. So, yeah, it's great. Leave it alone. Casino. Classic. With Charlie and the Chalk Factory. The first movie I've ever seen in theaters, actually. Tim Burton. Johnny Depp. That right there. These two. Lethal duo. They have done a lot of work together. And then Helena Carter, obviously. She was in the mix. Oh, and then Christopher Lee is the dentist. <laughs> Always a classic villain. Rest in peace, by the way. Conjuring. Classic scary movie. I mean, I remember when this came out in 2013. People all over this. Very good acting. And it's based off a of true story as well. I don't know if you believe that and that sort of thing. Contagion. This is basically a movie about COVID, sort of. I mean, it wasn't obviously this extreme, but... It's kind of like a COVID movie. You can... Oh, this movie was okay in 2012. It really popped off in 2020 when COVID hit. People go back and be like, oh, they predicted it. Okay, this right here. You gotta set down the remote, because this is... Really good stuff. Best superhero movie ever made. No question. Christopher Nolan, director. So solid. Everything he does is a work of art. Christian Bale is Batman. Wonderful. Nailed it. Michael Caine is Alfred. Spot on Alfred. Heath Ledger is Joker. Not only the best Joker, but one of the best performances. Someone who is so dedicated to their role. And he passed away before the movie came out. Big rest in peace. Excellent actor. Wish he was still here. Gary Oldman, commissioner. Solid. He actually got promoted to commissioner in this one. He didn't actually start out. At Everybody's story in this starts from the very beginning to the very end. It's great. Aaron Eckhart, Two-Face, very good acting. Well, he was the good guy for half the movie, remember that. Or half his face got melted off, and then, obviously, Rachel passed. Morgan Freeman, classic. Lucius Fox helped Batman. Greatest superhero movie ever made. Take that to the bank. Everybody liked him. <clears throat> Devin Bossick, I literally bought movies just because he was in them. Just to see more of him. And see how he develops his characters. And then obviously. Steve Zahn as the dad. Hilarious. Always good for a laugh. Yeah we're not going to talk about that one. No 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 no. When you recast. When you take a really good franchise. And recast everyone. No. Not. No. Bad. Die Hard, technically, Dr. Sleep, Ewan McGregor, see, I wasn't, I, I've never seen The Shining, but I know this is a sequel to it, sort of, Ewan McGregor's in the movie, take my money, I'm in, it's a good movie though, overall, Cliff Curtis, good, the child actors are actually pretty good, Breakfast 
Ferguson. <clears throat> Dumb and Dumber. Man, we're just hitting all of them. Jim Carrey, Jeff Daniels. Jim Carrey was, you know, a real big star in the night. I mean, he's still famous, but... This is when his career was at its peak. I mean, he was up there. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This is just one of the greatest movies ever, just period. Matthew Broderick. Alan Rick, Mia Sarah. Jeffrey Jones was the principal. I mean, it's just great. The whole thing's just great. You know, he skipped school, tour Chicago throughout the day. I mean, everybody who's anybody has seen this movie. So if you haven't, go out and watch it. Fight Club, another one of the all-time greats, all-time classics. Dave Fincher, great director. I mean, it's just funny. It's comedy. He just nails it. And obviously, Joe Pesai, Daniel Stern, obviously they were, they carried him as bad villains, but... It's great.